na makala maalum ya magongo ya Impala ambapo kikosi kizima wa kinafanya mazoezi katika eneo la Impala. Nilikutana nao miezi michache iliyopita lakini haya makala ambayo tunakuchezea la kisha baadaye tukutunarudi na mchezo wa raga tukizungumza zaidi kuhusiana na masaibu nzima hasa ya kina dada. Kwa kiwango kikubwa mchezo wa magongo bado haujajulikana na kutambuliwa vema humu nchini kama vile mchezo wa soka, volibolli na hata raga. Kwa kawaida, mchezo wa magongo ushirikisha wachezaji sita kila upande. Kulingana na desturi zake, washiriki huvalia mavazi meupe wakiwa mezingira mpokeaji wa mipigo anaisimama katikati ya uwanja ili kuondosha mpira wa gungu. Hapo awali, mchezo ulichezo uingereza katika mataifa ya theluji ya karne ya kuminanane kabla kujumusha katika michuano ya jumwe ya madola pamoja na olimpiki. Kenya imekuwa ikitoa wawakilishi kila mwaka kushiriki mashindano ya kitaifa na vile vile mashindano ya kimataifa. Kocha Jakam ni kufuatia ladha ya mchezo huo ambayo ilichochea klabu ya Impala kutoa sehemu ya uwanja wa klabu ya Magongo ambayo inajiita Impala Hockey inaoshiriki ligi ya taifa ya mchezo huo ili kutumia ardhi yao kufanyia mazoezi. Um, about Impala I think uh, Impala we've been now uh, here since 2015 but that is not to say that uh, Impala Hockey started in 2015 there was a team since 1980s but the team uh, went down so we again picked up in 2015 how we picked up uh, we used to come here the, the old players who used to play in the 1980s used to come here every sunday to play so as as, as younger younger players that time we, we, li we lived around we used to come with them then uh, the idea of starting a, a, a premier league team uh, or a national league team at that time came so uh, we fortunately our chairman the chairman of the hockey club is also an official at impala hockey uh, at impala club so he spoke to the management who gave us a green light to start doing something so we started uh, by registering players so we got enough players to register in the league wana migongo hao walikuwa kundi moja lakini kadri walivyokuwa kiongezeka waliona umuhimu wa kugawanyika na kuwa vikundi viwili uh, at impala as you can see on the on the right wing of the pitch we have a youth a youthful team and a senior team that is playing for premier and uh, national uh, as masters we act as an encouraging uh, side aspect of the young two youth so that they don't give up they see that there is life after uh, the, uh, the agility period which is uh, 35 so as in pala uh, masters we encourage them in both of, in terms of hope and inspiration again at the same time whenever they are stuck in one or the other as uh, impala veterans and senior players we come through hali kadhalika kikosi hicho ambacho ufanya mazoezi yao majira ya jioni kimo kumpatia wachezaji haswa wale wa kijinsia ya kike ili kushiriki pamoja na wao kufanya mazoezi uh, playing with the men you see you have to play like them you have to run like them so automatically your skill will just improve because maybe you'll miss a ball then they'll be like ah you know there are teams when you miss the, well, just one ball they won't give you the ball at any other time so you have to improve your skill you have to keep getting those balls you have to learn to play hard because you see the way they are tackling some of them come hard on you so you have to also be hard on them yeah kando na kushiriki ligi ya kitaifa klabu hicho kimeanzisha shule mbalimbali mbali za humu nchini vile vile wanatoa ufadhili wa masomo kwa watoto ambao hawana uwezo wa kulipa karo yao Kevin Onyango ni baadhi ya wachezaji wachanga ambao wamenufaika na mradi huo Alikuwa anaangalia wenye anacheza alikuwa anakuuliza kwa masomo unapata aje alafu anakuambia si usiluzo ukipad kwa masomo pia eh the, the club has really been influential in uh, supporting the talents. Uh, we have members of the academy who are in high schools and uh, the club has facilitated their joining because you find that some of those uh, schools, they have very good structures of uh, playing hockey. So you find that uh, senior members have connections with them, so they facilitate for them to join those schools so that they can build their talent. 
tofauka ya hayo ukosefu wa fedha na ukosefu wa usaidizi kutoka kwa serikali ndio changamoto kuu wanayokumbana nayo kwani wahulazimika kuchanga fedha wakati wanapotajika kusafiri kwenda sehemu mbalimbali za huko nchini kwenda kushiriki mechi zao so first of all i don't think that hockey is being supported the way it's supposed to be like if we compare to football it's not supported at all at all like Uh, let's say for example myself I play for the school but the school the only thing they offer is the ground and some of the tasks when we're going for away matches that's the only way the only time they support the us but like equipment like shoes socks jerseys we buy for ourselves so i still don't think that hockey is at a place where we can say that we are comfortable wanapo tifua vumbi katika uwanja huu wa impala kilabu hichi cha impala kinachoshiriki ligi mbali mbali ya mpira wa magongo wana matumaini kuwa serikali itaweka mikakati kabambe sawia na kupata ufadhili ili kutoka kwa mashirika mbali mbali humu nchini na kimataifa kuimarisha mchezo huu wa magongo kwani ni kupitia mchezo huu ambapo baadhi ya watoto humu nchini wameza kupata ufadhili wa masomo Robert Chacha kutoka uwanja wa Impala Kaun... Safi